When a grandma hurts a some heavy song. Is that Rammstein or Metallica? At least that's the case in Europe. And despite the similar level of hugeness, their road to the top of rock and roll could have not been more different. One started in California, USA, and the other one in Europe, Germany. One started when they were teenagers, and the other one when they just already had hair. One has four members, and the other one has six. One had musicians come and go, and the other one have never changed their lineup. But at some point of their career, they did something very similar, yet received highly drastically different response from the fans and critics. Both bands had their first albums in mostly standard tuning. Rammstein also did some drop D, which by the early 2000s was not considered that heavy anymore. And so both bands losing their nuts on the guitars. For Metallica it was Saint Anger, and for Rammstein it was Reise Reise Rosenrot. Metallica was mixed with shit. Metallica fans say they betray their trash roots, it's something that sounds not like Metallica at all, while Rammstein fans did not really hear a difference. It did sound like good old Rammstein, so why Metallica could not make the same success? Well, apparently it was not just about the tuning. Apart from that, Rammstein did not change anything in their sound. Well, Metallica changed, well, basically everything, but the biggest issue was probably just the bad timing, mixing, just the garage raw sound, the snare, despite the fact that in some moments Santanger did sound like the good old Metallica from the 80s. So I wonder, if Metallica played in their old style, just untuned on St. Anger, would it really sound like upgraded Metallica, like Rammstein did? Write it in the comments. You may say they never did metal, but what they did for sure is your mom.